Hey y'all, it's your girl, Coco Kitten Puruha, and I am back with another deck review. So, this is the second part to the Intuit Tarot uh, reviews for their um, Controversa Tarot. So, in the very first one, we went over the Classic Edition, and now we're going to go over the um, Keyword Edition. So, this is the reason why I'm always going to hype up into a tarot. They are perfect decks for beginners um, and those who are looking for clarifying tarot decks. Um, this is how the deck came. And the reason why I'm not upset about it is because this is a test deck. Um, again, Intuit Tarot reached out to me to be an affiliate, um, to be a tester for their upcoming uh keyword deck which is a revamp um it will be on kickstarter you'll be able to um hop on board to get a brand new fresh copy when they are released um i might be doing a giveaway look out for that um but let's dive right in now the back of the card will look a little different uh, once the deck has been finalized and the kickstarter begins so don't get too attached to the back Okay, that's going to change a little bit, um, but we're going to dive in to the actual deck now. They are going to be slightly smaller than what you see here as well. For those of you who have smaller hands, I have pretty average size hands, so the deck is going to be a little smaller. But this is what I mean when I say keywords, right? So you have your image, you have the number, you have any astrological, um, planetary, anything dealing with that. You still have all of that. However, you now have these keywords laid out here and then you still have your reversals at the bottom. So while the fool says a free spirit, it still says the fool on this one, but it says only fools rush in. So now you're getting your reversed or, you know, lower vibrating, um, energy from it. So let's just go ahead and take a look. And then we're going to do some comparisons with the classic deck which i have right here um and just go over the details about this particular deck in a little bit more depth right so here's the fool and some of the images are going to be the same as the uh, classic version some are going to be different like the high priestess in this particular deck is different than the high priestess in the other deck right And I want to say these are slightly, no, they're about the same size, but I know the newer version that's going to come out once this Kickstarter is available will actually um, be smaller. Oh, this one is upside down. So the lover's card. Diversity wise, um, I give this one more of a seven, seven and a half, um, as opposed to the other one being a six. I feel like because they've updated the images, um, they have a little bit more diversity to them. Sorry for them being upside down, guys. Still love that death card. I think that's really cool. I like their interpretations. Some of the interpretations are, are, are pretty literal. Um, they don't have a lot of room for um, open interpretation. And that's okay. Um, kind of like the lover's card is strictly about love as opposed to it's also about, you know, commitments and other different things like that. And that's okay. The more you use this deck, the more your intuition kind of sparks and you can pull whatever energy you need from it. So that's the cool thing about it. The moon. Sorry, guys. The sun. Judgment. And the world, which is the card that got pulled from the classic. So now we're going into coins or uh, pentacles, right? Again, you're going to have 
your zodiac signs, you're going to have any um, planets um, uh, involved with these cards, and it goes right into the meanings. So you don't necessarily need a guidebook when it comes to decks like this, and I think that's really cool, especially if you're a beginner, because you don't have to worry about, oh, well, let me go back and look at the book. Let me go back to look at the book. You can just start to build your knowledge of tarot and understanding the card's meanings as you're pulling the cards. Because sometimes, I know when I first started, uh, it was hard to really stay in the zone when I have to stop and look at the book and then I go back and try to read it and try to make sense. And then I stop and go back and look at the book and then try to make sense of it. So, you know, in this particular case, if you are a beginner, this is an amazing deck for you. And again, I'm going to drop my affiliate link in the uh, comment section. Um, if you are looking at any of their oracles, any of their other tarot decks, uh, you will receive 10% off. These cards are just really cool to me. And of course, please let me know how you feel in the comment section. Uh, if these cards are cool to you, if they're not, let me know why. Um, so I can persuade you otherwise. <laughs> um, I just really feel like um, I can't stress enough how great these cards are for a beginner. And I know um, I've recommended other decks um uh, for beginners in the past that hasn't changed but these decks are definitely very high on the list for beginners um their shipping is really well too into a tarot i got my decks in about two days like oh i love that I like the images because you're not getting just eight cups. You know, you're actually getting a full image that can help you pull any intuitive messages out as well. Even if you're looking at their facial expressions and stuff like that, right? Now, I don't normally read reversals, but I have been using this deck um, completely shuffled and mixed allowing whatever reversals come to come up, you know, be the messages that they need to be. But I will also say that as somebody who reads tarot, um, I've been reading tarot for years. Um, it's very easy to kind of use it as a crutch. Uh, so you want to make sure that you are still understanding the intuitive part of it pulling your own understanding and the actual messages that you're receiving from spirit and not just relying on the key words and this is i'm saying to people who are not beginners absolutely rely on what you need to rely on as you're learning the cards as a beginner but for those of you who read tarot a lot or i've been reading tarot for years this is a great clarifying deck like if you're using this in conjunction with an oracle or even another tarot deck you are going to get top-notch clarification using a deck like this. Highly, highly recommend. Super high on the list. I have been using these decks nonstop for weeks now. Okay? So those are all of the cards. And I want to kind of go over the differences in these two decks. So this is completely shuffled. But the the card stock is thicker on the original one. Um... I don't know if I can put them up against each other, but you can see it's thicker here than here. Um, while the other card is completely matte, you're going to get a little bit of shine off of the newer version. Um, I believe the card stock is going to be slightly different, but not too much different from what's shown here. Now, there is a third option um I don't plan on getting the third option. It is a flash like a flash card almost so one side has one side looks like this and the other side looks like this again if you are brand spanking new i any any one of the three will be great um for you to use as a tool of learning tarot um they make reversals easy um everything is is 
is well balanced when we talk about masculine and, and uh, feminine energy. Um, the page cards, no, excuse me, the night cards for the Controversa Classic are all women. Um, I think there is a healthy mix when it comes to the keyword option. Um, I love these decks. Absolutely, 100%. Love them. Highly recommend them. Um, I am very excited for this Kickstarter to start. Um, I will be making an announcement on the Coco Kitten Bruja page on Facebook when that um, Kickstarter drops. If you guys are interested in... Um, signing up for that to get your copy when it comes out okay let's go ahead and shuffle this particular one so we can get our card to interpret they shuffle like a dream one more good shuffle And guys, again, um, my very first Intuit Tarot deck was the Z108. I will link that in the comments. I mean, link that in the description. All of their cards, all of their decks are amazing. Really easy to use, um, beginner friendly, and just great on clarification. Okay? All right. The King of Coins. Come on back. Come on now. Oh, and we got the world again at the bottom of the deck. But the King of Coins, this is um, Earth Energy, but this is specifically Capricorn. Uh, it says ultimate provider, strong sense of self-worth, financially stable, hardworking, dependable, successful, grounded, abundant, secure, and stable. Go out and embody the King of Coins today. If you, Whenever you are watching this deck review, go out and embody the King of Coins. These are his traits. Doesn't matter if you're, uh, doesn't matter what your gender. I'm gonna say that. Um, you have everything within you to embody this energy. Go out and do it because I say so and because you can, right? <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. Um, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like, subscribe, and share for all of the fun deck reviews and readings and all of the other new things that I will be doing on this channel. Uh, and until next time, sending you guys tons and tons of love and light. Peace.